So did you know, Richard, that there were almost 65 episodes of Terror Hawks and not just 39? Uh, really? Yes. How come? Well, uh, the series was sold to Tribune in the US mm-hmm. and it performed so well that Tribune basically expressed an interest in getting another 26 episodes put together oh. after the end of the third batch of 13. So there was a very quick exercise in commissioning new scripts. Right. Dad wrote a script called Number One Seed. Right. About tennis. <laughs> About a giant pumpkin, in fact. Oh. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Tony Barwick wrote a story called Attempted Moida. Yeah. You know about Moid and yes, stuff. Yes, we all know about Moid. And David Nightingale, who may be known to many fans as the founder of Thunder Books up in Blackpool, which has mm. now changed ownership, but mm-hmm. uh, a very happy, jolly and nice face in Jerry Anderson fandom. Except right. that I've got a weird picture of him somewhere in bed with a latex mask of Dad as if they were cuddling together. Yeah, very strange image. I don't image. think he'll thank you for that, uh, Jamie. Oh, sorry, David. No, it's a well-known image. Everybody's oh, okay. uh, probably seen it. Anyway, so they got all these scripts together, and then, uh, unfortunately, Tribune didn't come up with the money, oh. and the whole thing was canned. So they, they put all this effort into prepping stuff for another series, yeah. Yeah. and then it all disappeared, and that was that. So what became of the scripts? Uh, well, the scripts still exist. Yes. And in fact, number one seed we turned into an audio episode of the first series of Audio Terror Hawks from Big Finish. Ah, All about good. this giant pumpkin thing. I see, so it did see the light of day of sorts in the end. Yes, it heard the sound of day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever the equivalent <laughs> is. That. Nice. So, yeah, there you go. And th- there was also, after that, after it all was sort of collapsing, everybody was kind of scratching around. We must try and do something with this fantastic series. Yeah. There was an idea for a spin-off series about Stu Dapples. Right, yes, I can see that. And Kevin Davis, who worked at the animated opening titles, which everybody loves so much. Yeah. He suggested they do a spin-off series just about the Zeroids and the Cubes. Oh, yes. Which we then toyed with, the yes. Zeroids versus Cubes, many years later. 